for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you detailing of g plus 2 simple building by using etaps detailing version software okay so before going to the doing the detailing process in etap software initially we need to model the structure in etap software so i was already done the modeling process and i was applied the load cases for the respected building so initially i will show you that building and specifications which is involved on that respected structure then after that i will explain you how to do the designing process for the respected structure by using etap software so for that just I am selecting my eTap software here. So here I am selecting file option, click on open option. So now I am selecting uh, building structure which I was already done the modeling process for that. Now we can see this is the building model. So which is consisting of approximately 9 meter length and 9 meter width. So I will show you the properties which is involved in this respected building. Go to click on material properties. So for this building I was taken M30 grade concrete and HYSD bars of 415 grade steel. Okay. Again in the same process I will show you the properties which are related to the frame sections. The beam size approximately I was considered as 0.35 cross 0.23 and column size approximately I was considered as 0.35 cross 0.23 and slab thickness which is consisting of approximately i was taken as 150 mm okay so after applying the load cases which are related to the gravitational loading condition so for this building i was taking it as g plus 2 structural model okay so example just i am assuming this respected building structure was located in low seismic zone zone to seismic condition in zone to seismic condition we will eliminate the seismic loading action rate okay as this respected building is consisting of g plus 2 structural model which is having the height is uh, less than 9 meter no need to consider the wind load due to that reason only i was taken the load cases two types of the loads which are comes under gravity loading condition system which are related to the dead load condition system and live load condition system okay click on cancel option so i was applied the load cases which are related to the uh, self weight condition system external wall load internal wall load parapet wall load and i was applied the slab load condition system under dead load condition again i was taken the slab load condition system for the live load system okay so now we have to do the analysis process click on run analysis option okay so that it will do the analysis process for the building structure under consideration now we can see it was done with analysis process this is a deflection diagram for the building structure so in order to see the shear force diagram bending moment diagram click on display option so click on the uh, let us consider forces stresses select the spear spandrel force select shear 2 to option click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram select moment 3 3 click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram and click on torsion option click on apply this is the torsion diagram for the building structure so after the analysis process is completed we need to design the structure so for that initially we need to add the strip condition system for the each floor okay so for that just i am unlocking the model here so go to click on the edit option in that select the edit grid strips option click on add strips option okay so in this we need to select the story number 12 which is consisting of the grid dimensions is x with the layer is a click on apply option again in the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the y direction system okay so for that just i am selecting the store y direction here again this is the layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the y direction uh, for the second story in the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the first one first story okay next i am selecting a level click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the first story in x direction condition in the same process just i am selecting the y direction condition with the strip layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the first story strip condition system in the y direction properties in the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the ground level next time selecting the x direction which is of a click on apply so that it will apply the x direction distance uh, strip condition system for the ground level in the same process just i am selecting the y direction system with the b layer click on apply so that it will apply the strip condition system for the remaining uh, story in y direction condition then after that we have to click on ok option so now we have to do the analysis process for the building structure with the help of the strip condition system okay so for that again we have to click on the run analysis option so that it will do the analysis process for the building structure under consideration now you can see this is the deflection diagram under considerations of the strip condition system now we have to design the beam section column section as well as the slab section for that go to click on the display option here select the uh, 
concrete frame design so in this it will be consisting of the options here like this select the first option so which is related to the view revisor preferences in this we need to select only the is codal provision click on ok directly again i am selecting design option concrete frame design so click on the start design check option directly so that it will start designing check for the beam sections column section here okay in the same process we have to design the uh, slab section for that select the slab design section click on view revisor preferences select is 456-2000 provision click on ok in the same process we have to select this option so click on the number of the stories option under consideration just i am taking 2 uh, 1 g click on ok option again in the same process we have to select this option click on start design check so that it will start designing check for the slab section under consideration so after that it will load the longitudinal reinforcement value for the strip layer a for the different floors so now we have to close this option before that we need to save the model till now whatever the data that we have done for the e-tap software so control s option so that it will save the model this time closing this e-tap software now we have to do the detailing process for the reinforcement values in detailing software csi detailing for that select the csi detailing option okay so initially we need to import the model from uh, etap software to etaps csi detailing for that we have to click on the file option in detailing click on new detailing option select the desktop select the composite copy this time selecting the building so initially the building model was open in etap software then after that it will directly import it to uh, csi detailing okay so it will take some time for loading the process for the uh, building structure depends upon your number of stories consideration so now we can see the model is importing the data which is related to the grids stories joints as well as the frames then after that it will import the shell section okay so here we have to click on ok option so initially we need to select the units detailing units option as per the kilo newton for this respected dimensions and uh, this value rebar weight will be considered as a uh, ton option okay so select the uh, rebar section as per the SI system ok click on ok option select the preferences as per the Indian standard codal provision click on ok so select the detailing option rename the CB to B section so column to only C section here so select the wall option just I am selecting table option click on ok option select the concrete display preferences you can select as per your consideration select the rebar rules option here and you have to select the minimum spacing value and maximum spacing value so here I am taking the minimum spacing value for the beam uh, which is consisting of 120 value here for the zone A, zone B and zone C section. Again in the same process I am taking the 450 value, 450 value as the maximum spacing value for the consideration. In the same process I am taking the value here like this. Select the column. Just I am selecting the minimum spacing is 120 and maximum spacing is approximately 450 value. Click on OK option again we have to click on ok option so that it will do the detailing process for the slab beam section under consideration okay so then after that we need to see the reinforcement details for the section so this is the uh, slab reinforcement details which is of a layer b layer so this is the rebar plan view and this is the top rebar and this is the bottom rebar this is the all rebars under consideration so directly i am selecting here as rebar cage view so that it will load the rebar cage view for the building structure under consideration this is the slab reinforcement details for the bars okay so in the same process we have to see the beam detailing option select the beam detailing option select here and select the elevation directly just i am selecting story number two uh, sorry two so here i am selecting section a so initially we need to double click on it so that it will load the rebar cage view for the beam section so select the beam section b section c and this is the reinforcement profile this is the bill of material this is the rebar quantity and this is the rebar cage view for the building structure under consideration in the same process we have to select the column detailing select this option so here i am selecting elevation section so here i am selecting c1 just i am selecting the elevation section this is the elevation section for the column just i am selecting a so now we can see this is the reinforcement values which is exist for the respected section it will be consisting of approximately 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 numbers of the 20 mm diameter bar under consideration this is a section b consideration which is consisting of approximately of 16 mm diameter bar for the section okay so in the same process this is the bill of material this is the rebar quantity this is the rebar kg view for the uh, slab uh, sorry beam column section so column section under consideration okay so this is the complete process of analysis and designing of a uh, two story simple building structure by using a uh, gravitational loading condition with the help of the etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you